We know that gas prices affect the sales of hybrid cars. And it turns out that the same is true for hybrid bikes. Electric bikes allow you to pedal with an extra battery boost or even cruise along like a scooter. They've been around for a while, but with gas prices going up, so are sales worldwide. And as Matt Brickman reports, two local businesses are on the ground floor of this emerging trend. When Clint Stockwell cruises down the cobblestone street near St. Anthony, Maine, it looks like he's riding any other bike, but his is different. This is the battery, it's removable, plugs in here, there's the motor. Clint's company has been selling their own brand of electric bikes for four years with an old school frame. We put that battery in there. And a battery boosting the pedal power. It's transportation when you need it, exercise when you want it. In the beginning, it was a $1,500 novelty for bike lovers. But with gas prices rising, they've gotten a boost from the economy. Now it's being perceived as transportation, urban transportation. And if you pit it against a car, it becomes more desirable. This one has two different modes. It can either be pedal assist, so you can pedal it and the motor will start automatically, or it has a throttle and you can just push the throttle and it'll go just like a scooter. It's the same story at Varsity Bike in Transit at the U of M, where Rob Dehoff stocks five different brands priced from one to $4,000. As gas prices have increased and as awareness of biking has increased, they, the sales have increased as well. They even sell battery add-ons for traditional bikes for $1,200 or more. But even though they're located near the U, with all its bikes and scooters, students are not the key customers. Commuters or people who want to keep riding but can't ride for some reason. Electric bikes can go as far as 40 miles on a charge if you also pedal.